Hello, what is up guys, it is Dave from PC Collector. Today we are, I am, giving you another uh, Diablo 3 guide. So this is um, my Shake and Bake Seismic Slam Barbarian build. Uh, I was able to push a solo grift of 50 with it, uh, with a Unity, and uh, let's check the leaderboards actually. Uh, do do do. Uh, clan. So I cleared a uh, 50 in five minutes. So uh, pretty good. It's uh, it's an awesome build. Uh, I haven't been able to get uh, a gamble of judgment. Oh geez, I'm not even set up for this. Uh, let me change equipment and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is, uh, I got my gear sorted out. That was a whirlwind build that I was doing. Uh, yeah, I was <laughs> wasn't very prepared for this video. So, uh, first off, we'll go over the, uh, skills. So, your primary damage dealer is going to be Seismic Slam, Shattered Ground. Uh, this knocks enemies up into the air and does a certain amount of fire damage to enemies up to 50 yards in front of you. So it's uh, basically a ranged attack. Let's see, uh, let's see how far it goes. It's, uh, it's pretty good. And then you got Merciless Assault, Furious Charge. I set it backwards because I'm that cool. Uh, it's your right click. This is going to be a Fury Generator or a proc, Focus and Restraint. Uh, your Q is Call of the Ancients, Ancients, uh, not Ancient Fury. Together is one. Sorry, that was for my old build again. So Call of the Ancients, Together is one. This is going to be damage mitigation. You split 50% damage of all your Ancients, and uh, we're going to be using an IK set so they'll stay alive constantly. Uh, then we got War Cry Impunity. Uh, it increases armor for you and allies by 20%, and all elements by 20%. So this is a good toughness buff. Then on our E, we got Battle Rage Bloodshed. Crits cause an explosion of blood dealing 20% damage to all other enemies nearby. And the main aspect of it is Enter a Rage, which increases your damage by 10% and crit chance by 3%. Lasts 120 seconds. Then your R is going to be Wrath of the Berserker Insanity. Uh, this is a huge damage buff. Uh, you get dodge chance, move speed, crit chance, attack speed, just sheet damage increase. So, very, very cool. Uh, now, the five passes you want are Berserker Rage, Nerves of Steel. Berserker Rage, uh, we're going to be always almost at full fury. So, you're going to get this damage buff. Nerves of Steel is your get out of jail free card, that's your uh, free resurrection passive. Then we got Rampage, increases strength by 1% for 8 seconds after killing or assisting in killing an enemy. This effect can stack up to 25 times. So this is a 25% strength buff, which uh, adds into damage and toughness. Then Ruthless, you'll never see a barb not run this. It's a huge damage buff to enemies that are almost dead. Then the fifth passive you want to get out of a Hellfire amulet is Boon of Bull Kathos. So, uh, if you get, say you get like Ruthless on your Hellfire ami, you just uh, put Boon of Bull Kathos instead of that. So those are the five passes you want. Um, if you really want to go risky, you can take off Nerves of Steel if you don't have a well-rolled Hellfire ami. So, that is it for the skills. Uh, then on to the gear. I have six piece, um, Okay, why is that? <laughs> I had the wrong boots on. Let's go, uh... There we go. Had the wrong boots on. So... <laughs> Excuse me. So we have six-piece uh, IK set. So we have the helm, gloves, chest, belt, pants, and feet for that. Your shoulder is going to be Fury of the Ancients. This gives Call of the Ancients the Ancients Fury Rune. So they generate four Fury per hit for you, so your Fury is going to be maxed out almost constantly if you're running solo. Um, 
this is a solo build. It, it doesn't run that well um, in groups because they end up killing mobs faster than your ancients can generate your fury. Then uh, on the rings, we got focus and restraint. Uh, pretty standard nowadays. Uh, with a Gogak of Swiftness, a Pain Enhancer. These two are for attack speed because you generally are kind of slow. Then we got Z's Stone of Vengeance. So this is a 50 yard. Um, the Seismic Slam goes 50 yards, and at 50 yards, Zay's procs to a 28% damage buff. So uh, I thought they go hand in hand. So for the Bracers, we got Bracers of Destruction. Seismic Slam deals 300% increased damage to the first five enemies it hits. And then for the weapon, we have Fury of the Vanished Peak, which is the Fury cost of Seismic Slam by 50% at max. Also, it rolls with the primary apex of Seismic Slam damage, 25%. Now on the armor, you want Seismic Slam damage, uh, all the Ancients damage, uh, obvious ones like Strength and Crit Fit, uh, then Crit Damage, Crit Chance on your gloves. Fire Skills deal 20% more on your um, Bracers as well as Crit Chance. Then Hellfire Ammo, 100% and 10% crit damage and crit chance. Then, so for the Kanai Cube, we have... Oh, why aren't you opening? The cube isn't opening for me. Alright, let me get this sorted out. And okay, here we are. The uh, cube wasn't open for me, so now we're back. And we've changed X. But for the weapon, you want a furnace. Uh, you get the 50% damage against elites. This build struggles with um, rift bosses. So this uh, is the best choice. If you don't have a furnace, uh, which is kind of uh, kind of more common, uh, you know, maybe go with a Maximus, just for that I demonic slave. I mean, Stop I kind of don't really have anything other than the Furnace as a replacement. Uh, you know, that's pretty much that. I mean, maybe like a Bovine Bardiche? <laughs> I don't know. But mainly, you want a Furnace, so strive for a Furnace. Then on your armor slot, you want a strong arm bracers. This gives 30% damage when they uh, suffer knockback, and that's the primary thing on shattered ground. They get knocked up in the air. Then on the ring, you, you want if you're just pushing regular rifts, you want convention of elements. If you're pushing grips, you want a unity with a unity on your follower and an invincibility relic. So I got a unity on him, then your damage will be split between the wearers, so that you'd only be taking 25% damage from your enemies. So we're going to go ahead and pop into a rift here. Okay, here we are in the rift, so you want to do Call of the Ancients, if it will load. Come on. Then Warcry, Battle Rage, set. Or rather the Berserker to auto-cast, then uh, you want to charge in with Furious Charge. Oh, we just got a lag. Oh, Blood, uh... Blood Thief. Okay, so, you want to use Wrath of the... not Wrath of the Berserker. Charge, the Furious Charge, to proc your half of the Focus and Restraint. Then you just sit there and just pound on the ground and everything dies. It's pretty much the basic of this build. And as you can see, it's kind of, uh, it goes kind of fast. It's, uh, if you don't have a BK set for your Wrath of the Waste, this is uh, the next best thing to like a barb steam, not steam, speed farm. It does pretty well. So yeah, that is my build. Uh, I'll go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the rip. And uh, if you enjoyed yourself, leave a like, comment, let me know if it helped you, and subscribe for more uh, tutorials and videos.
Twitter.